Hello, my name is Hideyuki Mimata. I'd like to talk about the operation for femoral shaft non-union, initially treated with intramedullary nailing, exchange nailing versus plate augmentation. Intramedullary nailing for femoral shaft fractures has a good union rate. However, some non-union have been reported and hypertrophic non-union is a common case in which instability is considered to be a major factor. Once non-union is recognized, the operation is performed mainly by exchange nailing or plate augmentation. However, despite instability being a factor, there has been no mechanical aberration including curls, which becomes bearing the load during the bone healing process. Quantitative CT-based final element analysis is well established for bone. In 2020, a conversion formula for the material properties of curls was obtained, allowing mechanical evaluation of curls during the bone healing process. Using the curls formula, we presented a bad quantitative assessment of the bone healing process at last year's user meeting it was recently accepted by clinical biomechanics. The purpose of this study is to mechanically evaluate the operation for non-union by QCTFEA, including CARS. The patient, a 51-year-old male, was injured when he collided with an oncoming vehicle while riding a motorcycle and the left femoral shot fracture was found. Striker treats the femoral nail 11mm in diameter and 360mm in length was used. However, at 6 months after surgery, there was concern about the possibility of hypertrophic non-union. Geometries of bone, curls, and fracture line were constructed from CT images, regions for separating the upper limit of material properties, which reduced influence of artifact was modeled separately. This is the transparent geometry. Some of the implants were given by the manufacturer, but we created them using Metasequoia for reasons of resolution and mesh generation. The analysis models are an actual intermediary nailing model six months postoperatively exchange nailing models with larger diameter nail, with larger diameter and longer nail, and models with a plate augmentation on lateral side. For exchange nailing models with longer nail, the initial screw holes remain. In the plate augmentation models, two holes at both ends of the plate were fixed by locking screws. A screw is inserted from the lateral side of the femur and exists posteriorly in the bicortical trajectory. In order to reduce the influence of artifact, the upper density limit was set at 600 mg per cubic centimeter in the cancerous bone region and 1500 in other regions referring to the density distribution of the healthy side femur. Here are the material properties. Young's modules and EO stress are given for bone using the equation by Matsuyama Eto and for cars using the equation by Suzuki Eto. Since the equation for cars exceeds that of bone in the high density region, the equation for bone is applied assuming mature bone in the region. This is the Young's module distribution. Contact conditions are set on the boundaries, bone curls to nail, bone curls to plate, and nail to screw, with a coefficient of friction of 0.0. Boundary conditions were set according to the hip contact force and muscle forces at maximum load during gait as determined by Hera et al. for the body weight of this case. As in the previous evaluation, 
The tensile failure ratio was defined as a volume ratio of Carl's volume between bone fragments with a tensile failure risk greater than 1. To assess the instability of the bone fragments, the change in distance between them was measured on the medial and lateral sides. This figure shows a cross-sectional view of tensile failure risk. It shows a decrease when the diameter of the nail is increased, and also a decrease with the plate augmentation. On the other hand, simply longer nails don't appear to improve the risk. In terms of tensile failure ratio, increasing the nail diameter or plate augmentation decreases it while only lengthening the nail doesn't decrease it. The vertical movement of the fragment showed lateral opening, but the lateral opening was suppressed by the operation except in the exchange nailing with 12 mm. The medial lateral and anteroposterior movement showed internal rotation of the proximal fragment relative to the distal fragment. The exchange nailing models with 13 mm diameter nail and the plate augmentation models showed less rotation. Regarding exchange nailing, improvement was observed in tensile failure risk and instability at fracture site by increasing the diameter. This is because second moment of area works as fourth power of diameter. Clinical reports have also shown a decreasing trend in non-union rate with the increasing diameter. On the other hand, simply lengthening the nail did not result in improvement. This is because the stiffness does not change, and the screw fixation becomes more distal in longer nails, which may increase the instability of the fracture site. It is important to increase the diameter when exchanging the nail. For the plate augmentation, the effect was equivalent to the exchange nailing with 30 mm diameter, which is 2 mm larger than the initial nail. This is likely because the plate also increases stiffness and directly suppresses the lateral opening. Actually, some clinical reports have shown that plate augmentation is equal to or even superior to exchange nailing. This study has shown that plate augmentation can be an option for the operation, even mechanically. Inserting a technique for the operation, the impulsiveness, the breathing volume, and other factors are considered. However, since the surgery is performed to achieve mechanical stability, this should be evaluated as well. Even with only exchange nailing and plate augmentation discussed in this study, many variations are possible. We believe that the optimal surgical approach should be determined preoperatively by performing a mechanical evaluation using final element analysis. We evaluated the mechanics of the operation for non-union after intramedullary nailing using quantitative CT-based final element analysis with inhomogeneous material also applied to the curves. It is important to increase the diameter in exchange nailing. Just lengthening does not reduce instability at the fracture site. Plate augmentation is mechanically equivalent to exchange nailing, and the closer the screw fixation is to the fracture site, the more instability is suppressed. Thank you for your attention.